Hello, my name is Walter and welcome back to Samurai Jack Season 5 Episode 2 XCIII or 53 uh, or XC3 however you want to say it uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for making my first episode uh, for the Samurai Jack Season 5 Episode 1 my first 1k video, I'm hoping to do it again here uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's go again uh, I think this is the new uh, kind of like intro they're going for um, and as you know as much as I want the old narration to come back I think it's more uh, it's more fitting that the new narration focuses on Samurai Jack uh, because you know it's 40 years after he's gone from uh, his own present and um, you know it focuses on his psych psychology and his fading memories I think is what the proper ways of saying it and I, I, I saw the other um, reactions and something I brought up that uh, other people that did not bring up was uh, the idea of the, the um, the sword calling him back and uh, this is the first episode we're gonna hear uh, Aku again which is really cool <laughs> I like that he keeps his eyebrows in his uh, drawers there um, but it's just interesting that uh, Greg is now the um, uh, well he was a uh, um, st uh, study to uh, Mako's voice understudy sorry to Mako's voice and um, it makes sense that he's now kind of the replacement to Mako um, and that's really cool I, I'm still gushing over the animations of and the new animations this is kind of the old animation here with the man monster um, and uh, this is kind of the new animation with Aku as well uh, because you know his his is more um, animated. <laughs> You're getting yourselves all out of there, yeah. Um, and uh, you you can definitely hear he's definitely trying here again. And uh, he's getting it a bit more right. Um, I remember in the Legend of Korra one, he didn't really get it right, but maybe because he didn't really practice it. Uh, as much and he kind of knew that it was only a few scenes and uh, in this one I think he practiced it more uh, is definitely um, is definitely better here uh. <laughs> oh that was the old Aku okay so this definitely um, he's definitely evolved from his old self then because that means you know he's um, he's more confident in his uh, new uh, cult because uh, this is um, this is a reflection to the old uh, the old samurai Jack because uh, the the henchmen or uh, the populace of it in uh, his other realms would come and uh, pay tribute to Aku uh, so yeah <laughs> yep it's well for us it's only been like uh, about 12 13 years um, uh, this is him as well uh, making into his psychology and his an insight into his uh, psychology uh, so yeah and uh, Aku is actually more of a Japanese demon actually that I, I researched actually um, because in the Chinese culture we don't really believe in uh, the devil uh, we actually believe in just darkness which is you know uh, the basic uh, principle of life which is uh, light and dark um, and with uh, the Buddha you know the Buddha uh, he he created uh, the enlightenment which you know uh, says that uh, you must be unkempt from temptation meaning that 
uh, you know, uh, pleasure, simple pleasures of life is actually bad for you because you know you need to be detached from the world to uh, fully get out of the cycle of the life because you know uh, as science has shown as well there is kind of a cycle of life because you know it's like um, you eat uh, like caterpillars eat the leaf and then they become a butterfly and then you know it's um, they become you know compost for new trees to to grow and then it goes all again so if we as humans want to become um, sentient or you know um, as in more immortal or in a way uh, higher uh, to go to a higher plane we need to detach ourselves from our earthly possessions and all of that so that we can be uh, we can be more enlightened because the the all the wealth and all the possessions and all, all the earthly things are the ones that is keeping us locked into a continuous cycle of um, life and I really like the juxtaposition there because we saw the wolf uh, the lone wolf in the forest trying to look and then there's a split in the path and then Jack as well sees a, a split in the path and he has to choose and I like they both choose the left uh, path uh, meaning that it's kind of the you know the um, left side of things where you know you don't know where it is but I think it's just a matter of needing to choose oh these these animals are really cool as well um, I like that the the animals are more animated, a little bit more softer, and uh, it looks like um, Gandhi has gotten more into the the anime there because the eye had the pupil coming out there, so it's the um, reflection of the eye. That's really cool. I'm still gushing about the animation, guys, because the animation is so beautiful. Look at that. The, trees and everything is just so awesome and uh, it looks like he still kept the the, um, the knife from Scaramouche and uh, of course as I said in the last episode uh, he is more uh, he's more technological meaning that the, the contrast is now the backgrounds because if you remember the old episodes the the contrast is actually him being the traditionalist with his samurai, um, his samurai uniform and uh, his um, I wouldn't say kimono, but it's not really kimono because kimono is for women. Um, his uh, his cloth, I would say. You know, I, I'm I'm not really sure of the term because that's more of a Japanese thing. Um, and you know, the sword as well as is uh, very Japanese because uh, the the Chinese way was always you know the horses and uh, um, you know uh, more of archers or uh, spearmen um, we never really had like samurai warriors and that's a really cool animation right there because he flipped up and he's flying through which is not real in real life but that's just a really cool animation style there and I like that we can sort of know that these are the storyboards coming into it because um, it just shows that uh, they want to make it <clears throat> more um, anime plus animation I would say because it's more of the um, because if I remember in the old <coughs> in the old uh, series, <coughs> oh excuse me, my throat is getting all uh, sore. There. <laughs> uh, in the old uh, style of animation, uh, there was um, there was all these styles that made it look fluid, and uh, but at some certain points as well, you could see where the storyboards are. So this is a really good homage to the old stuff and um, it looks like the daughters of Aku have come for him 
And uh, I was in discussion with someone on my YouTube page. Uh, he commented that they weren't really, you know, the daughters of who it was just a call. But I was thinking about it more and more, and I was like, wait, but then, like, why would they have the dark cloak and everything on them? Because that's a very uh, cool thing. Maybe it's, it's a dress, but then why would they have it since uh, the young ones as well? Um, of course. Excuse me. Of course, the young ones would also have clothes as well. Um, but I guess that's just my theory that um, they might be a hybrid of Aku and the humans. Um, and also, it could just be the cult. Um, so maybe there's a middle ground there. We are not sure. And of course, uh, here is the uh, trailers that. Um, uh, he's being haunted by his old self uh, that's there yeah is he gonna be t t is he talking about seppuku because like that's what uh, commanders in war usually did when they they thought that uh, there were there wasn't any more honor to be had, and you know, you just uh, kill themselves and sacrifice themselves so that the the enemy as well does not get him and um, does not torture him to get information from them. So yeah, it's a really nice uh, it's a really nice uh, insight to his. Um, uh, psyche because here he's more and more debating himself and I'm sure he's gotten himself detached from other people as well so he doesn't really you know he doesn't really interact with people because the old Jack if you remember you know he interacted with uh, more people and he helped more people so he was more of a, um, a mercenary in a sort of a way but it does get paid uh, he just you know he just does it because that's the honorable thing to do and uh, you know he made some friends like the Scotsman, which I'm thinking they're saving for the next few episodes. Uh, this is his uh, samurai training coming into play, I think, because that's something that uh, we I we strongly remember from the f uh, first um, few episodes of the old Samurai Jack, because that was when he gets to see without you know really seeing you know without his sight he can really attune his hearing to listen and um, find out where they're going and that's a really good attribute for uh, the ninja side of things because um, the ninjas are trained to have their senses heightened whether it be sight, hearing, uh, smell or even taste you know so and uh, these daughters of Aku really seem to be the uh, going to be the main focus. I think you know, we'll still have other uh, we'll still have other villains. It's just that I think they're they they want to focus on the daughters of Aku. And I definitely think there's gonna be a little bit of a twist where one of the daughters is gonna be more emotionally attached to um, Samurai Jack and. Mainly because I, when I first saw the first episode, there was one uh, daughter who looked out to see the beauty of um, the outside world because she had never seen it. And you know, the mother was all like, well, appreciate whatever Aku has created for you guys. Uh, but you know we we know that uh, it, she, she never the Aku never really created anything. It's just there. Um, and was that was that Samurai Jack sword though the one the sword she was carrying? Cause that sword looked a bit like Samurai Jack sword. I'm I'm not gonna lie. And um, as I was saying as well, so uh, I definitely think that it's gonna be one of them. I'm not really sure though they can uh, they they definitely already have the 10 episodes uh, planned out and uh, it's definitely gonna end at the 10th episode I definitely you know uh, Gandhi has already said that you know he he wants 
a good ending for Samurai Jack and that's what we all want I think you know obviously we want to see more but I definitely think that you know with this season it really looks really good and I think he he has his uh, thoughts planned out oh this is really cool I really like this uh, the um, separate scenes and uh, putting it all together that's really cool um, yeah, yeah so they're just searching for Samurai Jack now and it's really cool that uh, they kept some stuff from the old episode because most of the scenes are quiet and um, it's just a little bit of you know dripping of water which is real nice touches and uh, is supposed to tell you that they are ninjas they are supposed to find Jack and uh, how you do it is supposed to be quiet and you know you really have to listen to people if they're coming from the left or the right and now he's following a uh, firefly which is something that is there but they're never really sure uh, who's there and now that uh, he knows they have to fight uh, this is really cool this is really awesome guys because it's all black and white and uh, the um, and I remember one episode where he goes into the the home and you know it's haunted home and but there's one scene where it's, uh, it's just like white and then there's like dark shadows it's so cool um, and I want to know like what happened to these like uh, ruins though because this is a really cool ruin it's something out of like a video game as well uh, which I think they're definitely gonna make a video game out of Samurai Jack. I mean, they're not gonna, they're not gonna just let it be like this. Because it really looks like a video game. Uh, you know, where you just press X to swim, dive, uh, avoid the uh, daughters of Ku, and uh, it's, uh, oh, it's just so cool, man. And I was just saying to myself, like, uh, the first episode, I was just so excited as I was just uh, going through it again to uh, think of how I can make it interesting. And all of these thoughts from the old episode came up. So it's not really a comparison, it's more of a saying that, you know, I I'm glad that Gandhi is taking the mantle up again. And, he really wants to complete it even though he's kind of completed it in the, um, the uh, comic books oh this is really beautiful this is really beautiful because it's the uh, egg kind of and it's all the the fireflies so oh, it's so cool oh man I, I'm such a geek now because I'm just geeking out over this and uh, what I was saying earlier is that um, as an Asian Chinese, you know, I, I really love this, these kind of animations because uh, even though it's not really Chinese based, you know, we definitely know like how they, they think and it's just um, animation and um, uh, it alludes to Buddhism as well because, uh, you know, uh, the Japanese kind of borrowed Buddhism from China and um, you know there's just more Zen Buddhism which is the meditation and the uh, peace and tranquility one um, whereas China is more on the um, uh, vegetarian and uh, uh, inner inner cleansing uh, that's that's just an anime uh, animation there the light reflecting of his pupil uh, the music score as well, I forgot to, to mention that uh, the music score is, uh, wasn't really um, wasn't really present in the old uh, um, episodes, but there were musical scores. I'm not saying that all episodes uh, didn't have them, I'm just saying that they weren't really uh, present uh, as much as here, this episode, because I think you know some of the uh, scenes are quiet and this one really needs the music sc score because uh, he's uh, listening in and he's waiting and then uh, they're all coming to get him so that's something interesting come on Jack you can't lose 
and that's something that um, we always remember in the old series as well because he never lost you know he's he's always gotten down of course you know in a fight you always kind of fall down and but he always got up uh, but I think one of the things that is going to be playing all throughout here is his uh, psychology, his psyche. Because he's going to be thinking, oh, like, how am I going to fight another day? You know, so the old uh, curmudgeon guy who's, like, too tired of fighting. He just wants to settle down and just wants to, just wants to stop, you know? And I think that's his word. I can't really see it, but nah, it's it's red though. Oh shit! Oh, we see blood for the first time. Okay, well, not the first time. We saw it in the first episode, if I remember. Oh, see, it's human though. <sighs> yeah, oh shit! There's a dagger in his uh in his abdomen. Ouch. Is she dead though? For real. Take the sword. Take the take the knife. Take the knife, Samurai Jack. I mean, you know, I could just call you Jack, but I just you know, we miss you so much. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you can definitely you can definitely know that he's definitely trying. Uh, he's using the the res resonance now, the resonating sword. Uh, it's gonna explode. Throw it in, man. Uh, this, this is gonna be epic. I'm I'm so excited to see him do the exploding jump. Come on, bro. Waiting. Uh, that that water, bro. Oh. Look at that. Well, he didn't really do the explosion jump, but it's kind of like the explosion. Then he jumps into the, uh, into the um, water, and I really love the juxtaposition as one, well, You know, where he's the falling in the the water and he's swimming, and you can definitely see the white wolf uh, who fought off the other creatures to survive. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this episode. Um, well, is this to show that the the, um, the daughters of Aku is uh, now running after Jack, which is something that's gonna be a current throughout this uh, whole series. I'm hoping because he killed one already, so I, I'm not really sure that explosion really killed the others because you know. Uh, they're bad guys, they kind of know how to escape and if they see one down, they're not going to stop and be like, oh, you know, maybe we should wait for them. Um, so yeah, that was about it guys and uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode. See you then. Mm -hmm.